Wherever the sludge spreads, the disaster deepens. Crystal Flynn lost her home and worries about saving her health. It's devastating. It's, it's unbelievable. You just can't, you can't imagine. More than a billion gallons of toxic sludge leaked last Monday when a retention pond crumbled outside this coal-burning power plant. The spill was three times greater than what the Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA, first reported. Anxious residents gave an earful to Tom Kilgore, the utility's chief executive. The shell went off of bulk material that's in that river should be considered a crime. Kilgore took responsibility. This is not a time for TVA to hold its head high. But had few answers. When's it going to be cleaned up? I can't tell you. Downstream from the spill is the Tennessee River, the main source of drinking water for millions. Local officials now warn residents not to drink from private wells or springs. And a new EPA test indicated concentrations of arsenic that are very high. But environmentalists and some residents here also fault the EPA. Almost half of America's electricity is coal generated. It's the fuel that powers our way of life. The industry touts its cleaner product. But critics say Tennessee's spill was a predictable disaster. The environmental cop has been off the beat for a long time now. In Tennessee, an exhausting recovery has barely begun. I feel like I've been dealing with this for a year, and it hasn't even been a week yet. TVA will spend months cleaning up its own mess as residents wonder and worry what's really in the water. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.